Aloha my chili litas. welcome back to my channel. So in today's video was pretty much just playtime for me. I wanted to sit down, have a little bit of fun with some colour, some sparkle and just kind of create this makeup look. Zero to a hundred real quick. Minus a hundred to a hundred real quick because I was looking like a hot mess. I am literally looking like a hot mess this Sunday morning, honestly. So I, <laughs> I've just been breaking out a ton and yeah, this is... This was my Saturday night. So I'm gonna go and quickly have a shower and I will be right back. <laughs> this is much better, I feel a lot fresher. Honestly, this spot is so big, it's made my whole eye swell. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna have a little play with the Lime Crime Pocket Candy palettes. They remind me a little bit of Polly Pockets. It takes me back to my childhood. I think these were inspired by them, but they're called Pocket Candy palettes. And inside you get like five full-sized kind of colours. They're like very highly pigmented. Also, Lime Crime are vegan friendly because they are cruelty free. So that is a plus. So let's just get started onto this tutorial so I can cover up this monster. <laughs> Guess what I'm bringing back. So to go in with, first of all, I'm gonna be using my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. I literally haven't used this in so long. I decided to go and purchase one of these bad boys and I'm gonna use this to prime my eyelids. So I'm just gonna put a nice layer of this over the top of my eyelids and then I'm just gonna powder with some Benefit face powder. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is called Pink Jelly. It's a rose pink velvet matte shade. I'm going to use this as my transition shade using my Morphe M518 brush. I'm going to work this in using circular motions on the outer corner and then buff this into the inner part of my crease because I really want to see some of that pink like pop through. And then after I finish off blending out my crease colour, I'm going to go in with Strawberry. Strawberry is like a red sparkly shade and I don't normally put shimmers on the outer corner, but I have done recently and I've been really loving the kind of effect that it gives, especially if you go and put like a matte shade on top. It just looks very beautiful. So I'm going to take that on my 227 brush from Zoeva. Shock, this is like one of my favorite brushes and I'm just gonna work that in mainly on the outer corner. And then after that, just to darken up that kind of like outer corner a little bit more, I'm gonna be taking Baby Cake, which is a like rich chocolate brown velvet matte shade. And I'm just gonna take that on my Freeline little fluffy brush and kind of pat this shade on and then use my 227 to kind of buff it out. Um, this is probably one of my favorite shades in the palette. So for the all over lid colour, I'm actually going to change palettes. I'm going to dip into the Sugar Plum um, Pocket Candy palette. I'm going to take the shade Fairy Floss. And Fairy Floss is like a sparkling lavender turquoise like iridescent shade. So in some lights it looks really turquoise and then in some lights it looks really lavender which I think is beautiful. I love iridescent colours. Um, I love popping these all over the lid or even in the inner corner bit. It just adds a little bit of extra kind of sparkle. So I'm just going to take this on like a flat fluffy brush and just pat this all over the lid and then kind of stop when I hit the brown. So for the inner corner, just to add a little bit more of a highlight and kind of sparkle, I'm going to be taking Icing, which is like a frosted bright white shimmer shade. I'm just going to use my, where's it gone? I'm going to use my Makeup Addiction Precision Blender brush to kind of pop this on. And then for my eyeliner today, I'm just going to be taking my Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just going to apply a really thin line on the lash band area. Um, and I'm not going to smoke it out or anything because I just want all the focus to be on the shadow and the colours of the eyeshadow. And then for my mascara today, I'm going to be taking the Tarte Lights Camera Flashes. This came in the post about a couple of days ago and I honestly am obsessed with it. I love it because it's got so many spikes like can you see that? Obsessed. So I'm just going to use this on my lashes today. I will put on falsies but I'll do that a little bit later. Okay I'm really hungry I'm gonna have to get some lunch. Mom! She's gonna make me do it myself. Wait for it. 
gonna go on a food break let's go so, actually first of all i'm gonna be taking my laura geller tinted spackle under makeup primer in the shade this is shade but it's just in the color champagne it's just a little bit yellowy than the original one the original one's more like white and clear and then i'm gonna go on with the benefit professional primer this is just to counteract my texture at the moment so anywhere that i've got spots um or texture so like around this area and on my forehead i'm just gonna apply this to kind of hide it and just make it a little bit smoother so then like the application of foundation will just go on a lot better a little um kind of request for you guys to tell me what kind of acne products that you use that kind of work because i've been through so many creams and loads just don't work on me and you guys mentioned Jurac and the Mario Badescu, 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 how do you say it? But um, that treatment. So yeah, if you've got any kind of recommendations for any acne treatment, let me know. I don't really want to go back on Roaccutane, so if I can avoid that, that would be nice. I pick them though, so I need to stop touching because that ain't good for foundation today i'm going to be taking one of my favorite drugstore foundations which is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless um foundation in the shade 220 i was going to say 222 but it's not 220 and i'm just going to use this on the back of my hand and build it up i think this foundation is like a medium to full coverage foundation but i know when i said that last time some people were like oh it's not full coverage but i swear on me it is let's give it a go because if it covers up these spots and redness then 100% I think it's full coverage. Lid. That's very unhygienic. Okay, let's go. I literally love this foundation. It really, really does remind me of the Giorgio Armani. Right, here's the test. My forehead doesn't look too bad. The other day it was so pimply. So like under the skin texture and so annoying. And then for my under eyes, I might as well, whilst I'm here, just go in with Shape Tay. I'm just going to take the shade Medium. I don't really like to be too pale underneath my eyes anymore. I used to really love the whole paler centre of the face, which I do, but only slightly. I used to go like, honestly, four probably shades lighter than my foundation colour. So I'm going to quickly jump off camera real quick to do my eyebrows and then I'll jump back on. I'll be back in one minute. Well, probably about 15, but you know. <laughs> my brows look very dark. Oh, it's fine. CBA. So I'm just going to powder a little bit underneath my eyes. That's literally where I've lit... That is literally where I've only been... That is the only area where I've been powdering recently. It's just under the eyes because I feel like for whatever reason, like I've got oily skin, but the texture of my skin seems very dry, which is very strange for me. And I've been loving using like, I think these are the NYX sponges, but these tiny little sponges to apply the powder rather than a brush. I don't know why. I just feel like it's extra coverage. So I'm just going to pat that into my under eye area and the good thing is is I'm going to go over those mahoosive spots in a minute so it's going to add an extra layer of coverage just put a bit too much there let's just brush off the excess so for my contour today I should have really done this when my foundation was a little bit more wet rather than it's dried off now but it's fine we'll give it a go anyway we'll use it again in another video i'm sure um this is the rimmel london insta duo contour stick and it's in dark so on one side you've got the highlight and then the other side you've got the contour today i'm just going to use the contour shade because i've just powdered my under eye area and i hate putting on liquid highlighter when i've powdered so that was my bad so I'm just going to pop this where I'd normally contour. Make my chin look smaller. And my forehead. It blends up very nicely. It's much more creamier than what you'd think it would be. 
Right, let's finish off the face makeup before we go back onto the eyes. So, for highlight today, so I'm super excited to use this palette. This is the highlight palette from um, Lime Crime. You've got a pink, gold, and peach iridescent kind of highlight. I'll swatch all three so you can see all the different tones. But it's a very, like, lightweight formula. It's a very, like, thin and silky kind of texture. Like, my fingers now feel really nice and smooth after doing those swatches. I'm just gonna go for it. I've been loving using my Morphe 511 brush at the moment for my highlight. Turning myself into a real life a unicorn. Honestly, this is the kind of stuff that I live for. Like, I love playing around with makeup. Playtime is my favourite time. Make a little dot. So for my blushes today, I'm just going to be taking the... Let me clean that off. It's so skanky. Oh my god. Dose of Colours Mint For You Blusher. It's just like a pretty pinky peach colour. And I just think it would go with the look. So let's just pop a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. And I've been loving this brush from Iconic London. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I've been loving it. So on my lower lash line, I'm just going to pick up the shade Strawberry again. And I'm going to run this on my lower lash line using my Morphe M507 brush. I'm going to pick up quite a lot of colour, dust off the excess, and then work it on and then taking baby cake once again I'm just gonna apply this just on the outer corner so we've got some more depth just on the outer bit again using the same brush and then I'm just gonna whack on a coat of mascara on my bottom lashes I need to pick out what lashes I want to pop on oh I just stabbed my eyeball that hurt God, those spikes are real spiky. Whew. And then for my lashes today, I'm going to be taking the Iris Beauty Lashes in the Style Empress, which are a little bit more spiky and shorter than I normally go for, but we will give it a go. So for my liquid lip today, I think I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade L. This is a pretty colour. And then just to add a little bit of sparkle to the lip, I'm going to take these California Diamond Crushers. And basically these are lip toppers that you just like pop either just on its own or on top of a liquid lipstick. And today I fancy using the shade Summer, which has got like a peachy pinky kind of sheen to it. And all I'm going to do is just pop a little bit in the centre of my lip and then just use my finger to kind of spread it out evenly across the centre. Ooh cute oh I love these these are cute whenever I like something I say it's cute so if you ever hear me say oh it's cute that means I like it <laughs> I like it a lot Alright guys, that's it for this makeup look. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember to smash the thumbs up button and leave me some comments in the comment section down below. I love reading through them all. So, is that everything that I have to say? You can follow me on all other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. It's all Amy's Makeup Box. I read... I messed up my lines. I made it really nice and easy for you guys to find me. So, until next time, I love you guys and I'll see you soon.